Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. Hello, and welcome to another video. Now, today we are um, we're going to discuss how the ECM controls the cooling fans. And this particular ex example that we're going to show on screen, um, it pretty much covers the exact uh, system that's used on Mazdas and Mitsubishis uh, f throughout the, um, from 2000 to uh, 2000 and uh, probably 14, 15, something like that. Now, um, this, however, you know, having said that, this system, it's pretty much uh, exactly what it's used throughout the industry on pretty much anything out there. So... Again, um, we're going to discuss uh, how the ECM controls the cooling fans. Uh, we're also going to employ a few tools. First of all, as you've uh, been seeing on screen, this is the exact module that, that's uh, used by, the, uh, the, by these two manufacturers. Um, we are also uh, next going to show the, uh, the wiring diagram. Very brief briefly here, we have this, uh, this particular module has two connectors. Um, two of the... Uh, the side connectors, there's a little side connector and there's the, the small uh, bottom connector, they're the same. And this, these are terminals 1 and 2 for the fan. Uh, terminals 1, 2 and 3, the big on the big connector, that belongs to a uh, power input. As you can see on terminal 3, that's coming from the relay. Uh, number 1 is the ground and number 2 is the yellow uh, wire that's uh, coming from the ECM. This is the exact wire that we're going to use to control the module. So bear in mind that we, what we are going to do here is we're going to inject a PWM signal on terminal number two, the yellow wire, and through that signal we are actually going to control the, the, the fan. Um, as you can see, we'll, you'll see later on, we, uh, we have a small motor, uh, DC motor in here, which is going to act as if it was a fan just for sake of explanation. But it's pretty much the same. It is a 12 volt motor uh, that um, that's going to be uh, taking the place of the, of the fan. To create our signal, our PWM control signal, we're going to use the PWM bidirectional controller. Um, and we're going to use the yellow terminal coming out of it. Uh, the, the PWM has uh, a, a high current output, which we're not going to use. Okay, that, that's the yellow uh, braided uh, cable that you see. Uh, but we are going to use the yellow thin uh, um, trigger wire. Uh, this is uh, this is the one that's going to be outputting the PW, PWM low current uh, signal, which is going to control. Um, the module. So it's a pretty pretty simple concept pretty much if you're using the module, if you're if you're controlling the module, you're not going to use the high current output from the PWM by directional controller. So we're not going to use that and we're going to use the yellow thin uh, trigger uh, terminal. Now first of all as we start controlling the motor uh, you're going to hear it so pay attention to the sound um, because it's hard to see the, the small uh, little gear on, on, at the tip. Uh, but anyhow, so uh, and then then we're also after um, halfway through the video or something like that, we're going to jump into the actual signal and what it looks like, and how we are actually using the PWM to control the module, which in turn controls the motor. Okay, so that's pretty much the uh, the exact uh, 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 hierarchy of control here. Why do we need to control the module? Pretty much to to see if the module it's operating properly. Uh, because the problem could be in the motor itself, and this could be a fuel pump. It could be a, it could be anything. Fuel pumps are now variable speed, so pretty much uh, it could be a fuel pump. Make make believe this motor is a fuel pump or or a fan motor or a, uh, a blower motor. You name it. You cannot do this type of testing using like a probe or jumping wires or something like that because there's no way to actually uh, mimic uh, the PWM signal that's needed. And you'll see how this module reacts 
uh, it actually reacts in steps as you start controlling the PWM it, it's not a smooth control and this is typical of, of uh, these type of uh, control systems uh, it, it's like a little step control it's like a ladder you know pretty much then as we jump into the oscilloscope um, that this is the exact signal um, and this is uh, a, almost an 8 volt uh, output signal which is needed uh, to be able for the module to recognize the signal and you'll see and pay attention to the sound as we control the PWM uh, output of this unit how it actually uh, uh, affects uh, the modules control uh, at, at the end of the video we're going to show the actual output of, of, the, um, of, the, of the fan control module and how it looks like uh, how it would look like to the motor Next, what we're going to do is we, we are going to vary the frequency on the PWM by directional controller unit. Uh, by varying the frequency, you're, you'll see that uh, even if we increase the frequency, the fan is not going to do anything. It's, it's the, the control, and this is, this is from us doing it, uh, it, it's actually better when you increase the frequency. In other words, it's, you can fine tune it a little bit better. But the actual uh, PWM, uh, if you increase the frequency it really has no effect on operation uh, other than a little bit of a better control uh, so PWM it's, it's actually uh, affecting the pulse width modulation and the duty cycle uh, the frequency really has nothing to do with it uh, but again uh, just a little bit better control Now, uh, next, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to switch the output of the oscilloscope to the, uh, to the actual control, uh, not the control signal, but the output signal that's being uh, controlling the fan. And from, we, from what we can uh, determine, um, this particular fan, the module itself is controlling, it's having an, an impact um, on the ground, on the amount of ground that the unit is receiving. So it's, it has a steady power going to the motor, and this is from the unit itself. This is the way Mazda and Mitsubishi do it, and a lot of the other manufacturers do it like that as well. It controls the ground, and, um, and this is a, what you're seeing on screen, is the exact signal outputted by the module which in itself is being controlled by our by PWM by directional controller. In real life, it would be controlled by either the uh, ECM most of the time, 
um, or the um, uh, air conditioning. Usually the air conditioning sends this information to the ECM and the ECM actually controls the fan uh, uh, motor. So, this video was about how the ECM controls the uh, radiator fan motor um, and um, through the, uh, the module, a ver variable speed module. This is the exact same system that would be used for any other vehicle, not just Mitsubishi or Mazda. Uh, and it is also the exact same way that the other manufacturers control their fans. So, uh, again, thank you for watching. This channel is for do-it-yourselfers, as well as professional auto repair technicians. We present all the content using the latest CG animation techniques, on hands video, and how-to, tips and techniques. We encourage you to subscribe to this channel now. Once subscribed, anytime we upload a new automotive tip, secret, or technology video, you will be notified. Finally, by subscribing, you will also be part of our weekly freebies. Yes, we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise. Automotive Diagnostics and Publishing's Mandy Concepcion, the owner of this channel, is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web. At any moment in time, we may offer a free book, Kindle eBook, Android app, one of our own diagnostic equipment, or even auto repair software that runs on your PC. Subscribe now free of charge, learn lots of automotive technology secrets, and win free stuff. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.